Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? Y'all already pulling up for each other. Let's keep it that way. How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right. They're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um... The... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. Uh... We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. No sign of them. When you find them, run them. And keep me posted, Bobby. But I think that's a good thing, though, isn't it? That's what he did to Jacob. If blood means what I think it means.
Now we're down a gun. Hey, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like. What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and the start of camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? <laughs> you know. Uh, sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Be confident, buddy. Hey, don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick, I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Intrigue. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Oh. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That came off whoa. That seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> you did want it to happen though. Uh, um, I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. Bro, it's the wrong time to be <laughs> asking these questions. Just saying that because I'm hurt. Bro, why are you flipping Nick. the script? <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We've died. We've died. It's okay, I got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Hide. Quick. Yo, how can Nick walk already? How's he up and walking? His leg was gashed. So the radio hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their oh. portable CD player and everything and you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is, is that something, like, that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like, uh, DJ music. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. What? Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. You don't seem that bright, period. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Um... No? 
Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him, he's, that Whoa. makes a lot of sense. Okay. Back at me, bro. Just keep looking forward. I'm right behind you. Bro, stop looking back at me. I'm gonna deck you. I say, I did. All good? Oh, shit. Uh, give me a minute. All right. So I can't look around. But I feel like if I do it, that might be a bad idea because something's looking at me. Whoa. This was right. The girls came in the beginning, so that was the log. They didn't break into that. I kind of want to check by the pool. I remember there being a hole in the fence. Or something like that. Right, it's right there, but I can't go in. And the fact that Jacob sat down means we can probably look around and find some other stuff. Unless there's something here already I missed. Let's just take a quick walk around. Because I got the... Would it be a different interaction if someone else did it? Because there was that thing in the tree. What in the name of voodoo doo doo is this? I already saw that already. Okay. Nothing new without it. Alright. I guess. We just go. Why is it red there? Is it because of the lights on top of the tower? Alright, let's go. All good? This place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards. 
but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. That's not too bad. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Climbing ain't Sign easy. Sign me up, right? teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is uh, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. I got a feeling Dylan knows something. Yeah, I do good? Was that? Swarm of bears? Dylan knows something. Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears, but... Oh my god. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Sorry to pause it real quick, but I got a feeling Dylan is in on this. He says he spent the last couple years working in the radio station and Mr. H wanted more storage. And the fact that he's so blase blah about sending out an SOS, the way he did it and the way he worded it, something just feels off about Dylan. I think he's in on all this. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the. Wait, did he? Did he say lodge? I don't know. Two huh? males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um, now. Holy shit, they're talking about us. Fuck, 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 man. How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit, shit, fuck. 
<laughs> let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Why didn't you tell me that there's something out there? Fuck you. Fuck you! I, I I didn't know what I saw. You saw something, and you didn't think that you should fucking tell me. I forgot. I mean, the I, the guys came on the radio. <sighs> Get that shotgun ready. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. Fucking duck, don't let him see you through the window. Fuck. What? Oh Jesus, shit! And Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck no. Oh shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, oh fuck, fuck, dude. I should have broke into cabin 10. They can't get in. Uh, well, we gotta do something. Come on. Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and, I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Do it. Do it. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. So, there's something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh, it's oh, it's oh, oh shit! Attacking the cabins. Oh crap, it knocked out the wire. Uh, okay, uh, uh, fix it, I'll cover you. Why didn't you close the door? Ah! 
Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then they would have sensitive hearing, so. Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? Oh shit, don't let that be Emma. That had clothes on it. Wait, no, fuck that. Let Emma die. Fuck that bitch. Damn it, miss another card. Oh, you're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. No cards means no reading. Simple as that. Keep looking, though. There are still cards to find somewhere out there. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Come when the sun goes down.